I'm a bear. So we're out here in Kananaskis country. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Indian Graves, uh, Willow Creek. Um, we can't get over the hump, they closed it down because of the floods of last year, 2015. There's everybody out here dirt biking and ATV in, ripping around. It's fun to go cruising through all these different woods. Crazy, you know, climbing. But we're trying to find a place to go hiking. Can I have mine like medium rare, please? Medium rare burger? Yes, I still oh, like it a little raw. Medium rare burger. I know, it's different, it's still steak. Oh, good. Just ground up. Pass me a bun there. Okay, hold on. Do you want, do you want some cheese? So yeah, I guess uh, we're getting ready here. Let's go for the hike. Rob's got to do his makeup and his hair here. We are at uh, Indian Graves Ridge. We're about to climb. Flip that mountain behind us. It's good to see you people. Rock and roll. You almost ready there, Rob? So here we are at Indian Graves Ridge Line Climb. We're at the base, Indian Graves Campground, by our friend Cow, the tongue licker. As you see behind us, we are about to hike that ridge line. This is one of our first all-inclusive hike-ins and stay the night and tent it up. We're ready to rock, leaving the truck in the background as we venture to a different type of civilization. <laughs> That's the hill right there that we're climbing. That green one you see? And going up to the ridge that's right behind those trees. Okay, number one. We gotta get the free football. Number two, we're meeting up with uh, another river. We gotta go problem solve. But that means we're still gonna walk that way because you can't walk straight up a mountainside, right? We'll be walking up sort of sideways and then back up to the ridge. One way or another, we have to get across this river. And it might take like us actually going down to our knickers and lifting our bag over our head. It's gonna be a challenge for sure. So Raymond's going to attempt to cross this tree across the river. I think he's crazy. What? I hope I don't have to save his ass because it's stuck if he fell.
<laughs> I know, that's what I thought. <laughs> I did pretty good, didn't I, actually? And just get one big jump. Nice. Not bad? That was awesome. Was that impressive? Yeah. The only hard part is right there where it's bare. Looking for something? No, I heard like a oh. Like a bear going. Oh. You know what? I heard that earlier too. I wasn't I thought it was you. So you gotta pay attention to that. That's them going, oh, get out of here. It's that fast that we all of a sudden didn't go that far from the road. And you come up around a corner there or what we passed, and we start all the bear and it's bum. I wouldn't have time to get to my I'd throw my backpack to the ground, you would blow your air horn first. And, Get bear spray in hand, ready to shoot, but that don't use a bear spray until he's like close in uh, 20. I'd say 15 feet. So as he's like last, like bear spray is your last, like if he's gonna be tackling you to the ground, one of us, you're bear spraying him in his last 10 feet coming in, so you're not wasting it. And then he gets you and eats you, right? I'd save it till the last like 10 feet, <laughs> hardcore. As you're like, okay, now I'm gonna fall down that hill or. No, he'll beat you up a hill, he'll beat you. Like if it, if I seen him booting for us, I'd be dropping the backpack, pulling shoddy, loading. That's why I should have a couple more in my pocket. Here's Ray walking across another tree. How deep do you think the water is? Uh, it's probably pretty deep right there. Deeper than me? Oh yeah. You have phenomenal balance skills, eh? Come on, Rob. Nice and slow, bud. Yeah. All right, I <laughs> <ran>. Nice. <laughs> This will be exciting as long as we take it slow. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> I'm just like blew up as it went. So right now we're on about a 45 degree angle or so. 
probably doesn't look like it. But we are climbing a little mountain. Do you see those cliffs up there? That's where we're going and then we're walking across the ridge line. Now that we're up here, I'm gonna turn around and show you the beautiful view behind us. Right, Ray? Oh, this is gorgeous. Hey, some guy with the blue tents down there. Hmm, could that be our tent? Look at Dead Man's Tree. We should get a couple shots there, eh? Yeah, we should. I'll be climbing to the top. Hey, buddy. So Raymond and I have now split up. Uh, we decided to take a different path and that's cool. Um, he's a more adventurous type and he wants to walk up the rocks. And I'm taking a little bit of an easier path because I still have slant rather than jagged rocks. So this is what I'm up against. And the... uh, I slipped a little. I see Raymond right there. How can you do that, man? <laughs> I bet. I got... You at the peak of the mountain, buddy. Awesome. Uh, Rocco, I want you to continue this part with me. It's easy right here. Why? Here we are, Indian Graves Ridge Line, and we are doing the ridge. Now, I have sadly talked Robert into joining me on the steep cliffy edge, but I didn't think it was that cliffy, but this is still quite the cliff edgy. But Rob is soaking in the air because it's a lot of less air up here, isn't it, Rob? I'm not worried about the air. He's worried about, like, it's the sheer cliff edge. Yeah, because you're leaning oh. in to, oh, out towards the <laughs> drop. Oh my craziness! Uh, yeah, I forgot that it's little. <laughs> So, 
looking out into the mountains, the west. Back north, south, east. It's gorgeous. I love it out here. Um, I love the colors of the different scenery changing. The uh, cliff edge gives me a rush. I love that edge. I love, uh, not like thrill seeking, but just heightening our senses a little bit. Not crazy, but I just, uh, it feels so good to be up here. Any Graves Ridge climbed. Done. The silence is just uh, it's what a person needs all the time. Not all the time, but definitely enough silence to step back and look at life. That's what it really feels like up here. Like when you step back and you zoomed out from up close at life. Um, this is a cool bench up here I engraved my name. It's neat seeing all the different names engraved in this old bench. Oh, you have found this place. You have found our hearts in loving memory. Manfred Simon Ackerman, 1926. This bench was put on here, 1926. Very cool. So a lot of settlers, well, some people came out here hiking. This would have been like your first little ridge line of the mountains to uh, get a good viewpoint of that whole area. To plan which area of the mountains you'd want to go in on, right? It's awesome. Love life. Keep rocking it around. <sighs> Till another time. So we're up here at the top of the mountain, uh, well, the ridge. There's a seat up top. Uh, we caught footage of that. Been quite the hike for me. We, 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 we did a, a hard climb to get up here and once I got up here, I was ready to, to get back down. When I sat down on that seat over there, I'm looking over an edge almost that's like 10 feet in front of me, not even, and uh, I was pretty much ready to go back down and uh, I wasn't relaxed at all, but I looked off to the right and over the fence and there's this little flat grassy area where I'm sitting now and I actually feel pretty calm and okay. So basically heights scare me, but uh, I took on a new challenge today with heights and and I'm, I'm a little bit proud of myself, um, as cliche as it sounds, but it's been fun. Hey, the grass is greener on my side of the fence. Uh, it actually kind of is. <laughs> I just got more of it.